Here we go to Cochran for the Indians and the Royals of this game as the Royals took the field and here come the Indians from Osceola. All right, Irwin County receives the ball first. Jason Jackson would almost break free, but he's brought down right around the 40 and that's a penalty. Yep. Jackson though gets the handoff again and he's going to finish that first drive with a touchdown. Irwin would try for two, but no good. It would be six nothing. The Indians on top. Bleckley now receives their first kick off the game, and Marcus Newsom, Newsom is going to slip past a few defenders and take off as far as he can. He's brought down around mid midfield. Bleckley County now ends up punting the ball, and we go into the second quarter. Indians have the ball, and Jalen Johnson is going to get the handoff and speed along before he's pushed out around the 10 yard line. Now, Luke Snyder, short pass coming to Javion Woodard, but it's tipped and intercepted by J.B. Blackshear. Big play there. Bleckley now on the ball. Hands off Josh Stanley Jr. He slips through an opening. Watch this, and it's gonna go down. Bleckley, though, would have to punt the ball once again. That high-powered offense couldn't get anything going. Irwin with the ball near midfield. Luke Snyder tricks the defense and takes it all the way to the 30-yard line. Then Snyder would finish the drive. Back to pass, looking. Javion Woodward, it's in there for the score for the touchdown. They would try for two, but again, no good putting the score 13, rather 12-0 at the half. This was all Irwin County, a shocker. 31-0, Bleckley finishes the season at 93. They averaged 37 points per game and got shut out. Unbelievable.